Before I even say anything in this video, I'm gonna give a whole bunch of disclaimers. The first part of the video, I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what Zach at Windows Central wrote about this upcoming fall surface event. That is his reporting. Okay, I'm just gonna very quickly show you a little bit, give you a link. You can go read the article for yourself and I would encourage you to do so because I'm gonna leave some things out intentionally so you will have a reason to go there. After that, we're going to switch gears and we're going to talk about some stuff that I have heard about Surface Duo 2 and is related uh, to this event, really Surface Duo, the line in general. Now, the stuff that I'm going to communicate with you is stuff that I've heard from one individual. Now, this individual is someone who I do think knows what they're talking about. They have had a pretty good track record. Things they've told me that I maybe haven't even communicated with you guys have then turned out to be true, but I can't confirm any of this stuff. And this is stuff that they're maybe not 100% on. So take all of that duo stuff with a great big pinch of salt. Some of this may be true. Some of it may be inaccurate. We're just going to have fun speculating, okay? So do not take this as 100% on any of this because my confidence in it is kind of like, uh, maybe this is what's going to happen. Some of it I'm actually quite confident about because it makes a ton of sense and it lines up with some other things. Some of it, not so much. I'm going to try to communicate what's what with you as best I can. So with all that said, disclaimers out of the way, let's quickly take a look at what someone like Zach with some good insider knowledge is expecting from this 2022 Surface event. If you don't know, this event is slated to happen October 12th at 10 a.m. I will be live streaming this event. Subscribe now ahead of time so that you can watch with me and see if the stuff I'm going to say later ends up being correct or not. So they are expected to show off a new Surface laptop. I have not actually owned one of these, but I've kind of played with them a couple times at Best Buy, and I think that they look absolutely great. I love the appearance of them. He's expecting a small refresh, probably not a big change on these devices, just sort of a new iteration. We're expecting a Surface Pro 9, which uh, from what I've seen as well, the ARM version, the Surface Pro X, might just kind of be rolled into the Surface Pro 9. So you're all going to be the Pro 9, but there's going to be like an ARM variant, which is basically the Surface Pro X. That would be pretty cool to see. A new Surface Studio 3 is all but confirmed. We actually saw a photo of it from a, a filing of some sort, and it looks exactly like the other ones did. Probably going to get that new Surface Studio 3. Zach also mentions Project Volterra, as well as possibly a new set of Surface earbuds. So that's kind of what we're expecting to see. Again, link in the description to a few more details, some more information. Do go click that link. Now let's... Uh, fully park our train into speculation station and have some fun here. So first off, I don't think we're going to see Surface Duo 3 at this event. I still think that we are a ways off. But something that I've mentioned over the last couple of weeks and maybe even longer than that, something I've kind of wondered, the timing would line up really well for you. Now I've said maybe we'll see Android 12L talked about launched during this event person I've spoken to has told me that that is what is expected to happen. They believe that 12L will in fact be launched at this event. Now, speaking about Android 12L, stuff like I said, may be true, may not be true. I asked them what they could tell me about 12L, what changes would be coming, and they communicated that some of the stuff we'd already heard was true. So we're going to get a pretty big visual overhaul. The font is going to be changing. The icons are going to be changing. A lot of this fluent design language stuff from Windows will be moving over. But they also communicated that there's a few more things. As far as they currently know, Microsoft is working on some way to bring the Android 12L taskbar over. Now, I've made a video talking about this, about how I'm not sure how a taskbar makes sense on a dual screen device. They said that perhaps it was being done in a way that it would be able to be hidden. Some way it would show up and then hide away, which you can do on the Z Fold. You can long press at the bottom, but he said they were working on the taskbar being in there. This one, I'm really just sort of taking their word for it because I really don't understand how one, how that would work, and then two, what benefit it really is on a device that almost always has your home screen available on the other screen. But there that is. Take that with a pinch of salt. They also communicated, though, that there would be a pretty major change to the UI on Surface Duo going forward. And that that change in the UI would be sort of predictive as to what Surface Duo 3 was going to look like. 
I asked them, what do you know about Surface Duo 3? And they said they're aware of two prototypes floating around internally at Microsoft. And both of them are a single folding OLED. One prototype is a 180 fold, so something like the Z Fold, something that is open flat and then closed shut, although it would be shorter and wider like Surface Duo and probably no cover display. This thing would just be nothing. And then you'd open it up and it would be a, just basically a folding tablet with no cover display. The other one is a prototype that has the 360 hinge. So it would be able to not just open up flat, but then fold all the way back around and that would give you phone mode and different postures. Now it seems like that 360 folding hinge may not be far enough along. I don't personally think that tech is ready yet from my understanding. It seems like it's very early days. So it looks likely from this individual's perspective that they ship a simple folding display that opens up 180 no cover display and folds back shut. Now, speaking of that software, I tried to reiterate, kind of ask them, you know, are they taking Duo software and just moving it directly over like I've shown in another video where you would basically have a big screen, but it would operate like I'm showing you here, would operate as if it was a dual screen setup so that whenever you select an app on the right side, it opens already windowed, open an app on the left side, it's gonna open up already windowed, and then you could spam them across both if you wanted to go that route. I asked, is that what they're going to be doing, bringing that software over? And their response was a little bit cryptic. They said yes and no, mostly yes, but also a little bit no, but, that whatever this change was is going to be something we're going to see when they announce Android 12L. There's something changing, some sort of UI refresh that they think we're going to be aware of here early October at this event and that it's going to be in some way present on Duo 2 and Duo 1. I don't know how that makes any sense or what that means or what to make of that. Maybe you guys can kind of guess and speculate. That one is confusing to me because Duo is, there's a, a split down the middle, there's a hinge. So what will that be? How will that work? Not really sure what to make of that one. Now, they did also mention that there were some new features coming for the Surface Pen, but they didn't get into specifics. Prior reporting though indicates that you're going to be able to press the button and get a little toolbar that gives you different apps or maybe tasks, activities, things that you can do, hopefully like the uh, snipping tool or something like that would be really, really cool, but also just different drawing apps, one note, and then you can pick one and open it. Something like what they have on Windows, also similar to what Samsung does with their S Pen from the sounds of it. So like I said, some of this stuff is not that hard to believe and it lines up with prior reporting. A UI refresh, new Surface Pen features, but some of this other stuff, like major changes to the way the device functions, that might be predictive of what's coming with Duo 3 is a little bit surprising. And while I don't think we're gonna see Duo 3, maybe they might like mention that there's a Duo 3 coming and that it's going to be different or something like that. But then keep that in the back of your mind that the prototypes from what this person has told me, you know, are both single screen, 1180, 1360, and maybe be mentally preparing for that. I'm still pretty disappointed, but that does seem like that's the way that we're going. I'm going to have to kind of mentally figure out whether or not I think it's going to be nearly as good as having two actual screens. If they do the software right and they show us what the software is going to kind of look like and how it might behave on a single screen device, that might be something I can kind of come around to. If it's, you know, Duo with two screens is a 10 out of 10 for me. If this is like an 8 out of 10, maybe it's still better in behavior than something like the Z Fold at that point. Yeah, I still feel like they've kind of lost the plot and kind of given up on their initial dream, but we uh, can't let perfect be the enemy of good. We might have to take what we can get in regard to Duo 3. So there you go. There is a whole bunch of speculation. A lot of it Difficult, if not impossible, for me to confirm. We can talk about it in the comments down below. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. My air conditioner just kicked on right as I'm about to finish up, so that's my cue to definitely end. I'll see you on the next one, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.